In this tutorial, we're going to have a look at another editing tool that allows you to affect clips on the timeline. This is also our first look at how to change the speed of a clip. The tool itself that I'm going to look at is called the Rate Stretch tool. And to get to the Rate Stretch tool, you go to your toolbar, click on the Ripple tool, hold your mouse down to reveal the other tools that are available there. And this one here is the Rate Stretch tool. In terms of how the rate stretch tool works on a clip on the timeline, I'm just going to zoom in slightly on this clip here. Uh, you move over the start or the end of the clip and the rate stretch tool becomes active. It allows you to click down on either end of the clip and drag. If you drag inwards, it trims the clip making it shorter and like the arrow tool, it leaves a gap. If you drag it back out again, it makes the clip longer and it will let you extend the clip back out as long as there is a gap available next to it. If you want to extend beyond the original limits of the clip, you would need to move your other clips up the timeline to create a gap and then it will let you extend the clip out further. So in that respect, it's really similar to the other tool. And just to show you, look, I can click over the start of the clip, trim the start of the clip in or extend it back out again as long as there is a gap again for it to extend into. Let me just undo all of that for a second. And I'm gonna leave a little gap there so I can extend into it if I want to. Now the big difference between the rate stretch tool and the arrow tool is what it actually does to the clip on the timeline when you extend it or trim it. Okay, so in one respect, the rate stretch tool works very much like the arrow tool. The big difference is this. If I just go back to the arrow tool for a second, if I extend the end of the clip using the arrow tool, what it's actually doing there is changing the out point of the clip. It's adding new frames and it will let you add frames until you run out of media from the original clip itself. If I trim the clip in, it's changing the out point of the clip again, reducing obviously the length of the clip by trimming into the media itself. If I did the same on the start of the clip. If I just do a couple of undos there, and if I do the same on the start of the clip, if I trim the start of the clip with the arrow tool, it's changing the end point of the clip and bringing it later so the clip gets shorter, or if I extend it out, it's adding frames to the start of the clip, effectively moving the end point of the clip earlier, and it will let you extend that clip out until, again, you run out of media at the start of the actual original footage. If I switch back to the rate stretch tool, this is the big difference. If I extend the end of the clip out with the rate stretch tool, yes, it's making the clip longer, and it's adding frames, but it's not actually adding any more media to that clip. It's making the clip longer by slowing it down. If I play the clip now, it will be playing back slower. Here's it playing at its original speed. And here it is with me extending it out again. As you can see, it's slowed down. How much it's slowed down by? is indicated by this little percentage here. So 100% speed is normal speed, lower than 100% is slow-mo, higher than 100% is speeding the clip up. So if I grab the end of the clip, go this way, it makes the clip shorter this time. I might need to zoom in just to show you the percentage. As you can see, look, this is speeded it up to 248%. Now, if I play it back, it's gonna be playing faster. So where would you generally use this tool? The most common use for this is you've got a shot and for whatever reason, the shot is either slightly too long for your purposes or slightly too short for your purposes. So it might be that I have a shot like this and I want it to fill this extra space here. And I either haven't got any more media within the footage itself or for whatever reason, I don't want to show any of the extra footage in the clip. So I can get to my rate stretch tool, drag it out, fill that extra bit of space. It slows the clip down obviously to do so but I've managed to fill that gap that I needed to fill without actually seeing any more media in the clip. So really, the biggest use of the rate stretch tool is where you need to change the speed of the clip, but your priority is the actual duration of the clip as opposed to the speed of the clip. And if you think about this, if I was to conventionally change the speed of this clip by putting in a percentage, it would be extremely difficult to work out that I needed to change the clip by to 65.81% just to fill that gap. Whereas if I get my rate stretch tool, I can do that without having to actually worry about what the percentage is and just fill the gap that I needed to fill.